In this paper, we propose a novel representation of motion trajectories using Gaussian process regression. We start with motion trajectories extracted from video. We then learn patterns using Gaussian process regression. We calculate similarities between input trajectories and learn patterns as well as ambiguities of the motions. Based on these, we classify trajectories and detect anomalies. First, we will introduce Gaussian process regression flow. Here is a sample motion trajectory shown in two dimensions. We use Gaussian process regression to generate a mean flow field based on every time step in the input trajectory. We associate a confidence value with each point in the flow, high confidence that are shown in blue and low confidences in red. We can visualize the trajectory in the spatiotemporal domain by normalizing it in the time dimension. The mean flow field and confidences are also mapped to this domain. This is the Gaussian process regression flow, or GPRF. We can construct a GPRF for a class of trajectories by sampling points from more than one trajectory at each time step, as described in the paper. The similarity between an input trajectory and the class can be computed by comparing each velocity vector in the trajectory against the corresponding mean vector in the class GPRF. See the paper for details. For online or incomplete trajectories, we scale the trajectory along the time axis to maximize the global likelihood. Here we show trained GPRFs for trajectory classes from one of our datasets. There are a total of 17 classes shown here. You can also see the separate GPRF for each trajectory class. We evaluate our approach on three other datasets. Each dataset contains its own trajectory classes with different frame rates. Each trajectory class is given its own color in the bottom figures. We will now go over our results. Here you can see the different trajectory classes visualized as arrows. Dotted lines represent stopping, and the color shows the dominance of each class over the current trajectory. We also labeled the current track as green when it is normal, and red if we detect an anomaly. The first example shows a right turn. As the car completes the right turn, which was initially the dominant class, the dominance value of the straight trajectory grows. The pattern in this example is simple, but demonstrates that the correct class is consistently dominant even with the first few points of the track. We can see this again in this example. Here, as the car decelerates, the dominant trajectory changes to predict where the car will park. In this video, the trajectory for the car remains straight. Here, the car moves straight but stops due to a signal. Our initial prediction is for the car to continue going straight, but it quickly changes to a stop as the car decelerates. The next example shows a car slowing down and turning left. Our prediction starts as straight. As the car decelerates, a stopping pattern becomes dominant. Finally, as the car begins to turn, the left turn prediction becomes dominant. We see that our approach is quick in responding to subtle transitions. Now we demonstrate anomaly detection. Here our approach identified an anomalous track of a police car going in the wrong direction. Though two patterns have high dominance, their actual similarities are small since this pattern is not close to either GPRF. Thus, it is classified as an anomalous track and labeled in red. Finally, it becomes green as the trajectory merges with a learned pattern. This track, identified by approach as anomalous, shows a car suddenly stopping in the intersection due to a pedestrian. It starts with a normal straight movement. Suddenly, it decelerates. Then, ambiguity increases and similarity decreases, resulting in the track being classified as an anomaly. Here we show detected anomalous behavior of a person riding a bike inside the intersection. It is initially classified as normal behavior, and then quickly changes to an anomalous behavior. More details and quantitative evaluation are shown in the paper.